What do you do when someone drowns in Nigeria considering our health challenges? This is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Hi fam! My name is Ada. I'm a medical doctor living and practicing in Nigeria. Welcome to my channel where I share health information, health tips, amazing health tips in the simplest way possible. Let's just go straight into this drowning that we're talking about today. Now, if someone drowned, as in they entered water, they cannot swim, you found them under the water, they can be divided into two categories when they are brought out of the water. Number one is conscious. Number two is unconscious. So I'm going to start with the conscious category. What does conscious mean? This person can talk to you. They are responding to you. So what do you do for the person? This one is simple. This one is easy. Unconscious is where the cocoa is. So keep watching this video. You get them into the recovery position. That's the first thing you do. The second thing you do is to get them as warm as possible. Because the water in their clothes on their body will make them very cold. And that drop in temperature is not good for their body considering the stress that they have gone through. So whether you have blankets, if you can take out their wet clothes, that would be great. And cover them with blankets and any thick clothing that you can find. Or even any clothing at all. Just make sure that this person is warm and then get them to the hospital for a hospital check. Now for the people who are unconscious. That is where the problem is and that so please please i beg you pay attention you bring this person out of the water they are not conscious they are not talking to you call their name they are not answering you now have to start cpr what's the cpr cardiopulmonary resuscitation before you start you have to call for help of course normally when things like this happen people gather in nigeria so at least two or three people should be doing this cpr so that when one person gets tired another person takes over what cpr actually does for you is to push blood into the brain at that point the person's heart has stopped and what the heart does is to push blood to different parts of the body but what is critical is the vital organs the brain the kidneys within five minutes if the brain is not getting blood that has oxygen the brain dies so even if the person you know their heart starts to beat and they recover they will never wake up again they will be what we would call brain dead and I, so it is very very critical that oxygen is getting into that brain so i'm going to insert a detailed cpr video in the description box and in the first comment so once you're done with this video please i beg you go and watch it I also want to say that effective CPR can break ribs. So if you hear cracks, don't worry. It's part of CPR. The person's ribs will heal. The fracture will heal. But that is the difference between that person being alive and the person not being alive. So it's better to be alive with cracked ribs than not to be alive at all. Now, having started CPR on this person, arrange for a vehicle to take them to the hospital. I know this is not the time to go to clinic and maternity because this person most likely will require oxygen and most of those hospitals will not have the oxygen that they need. So you waste precious time taking the person to a smaller hospital rather than going straight to a big hospital. So what would be a big hospital in this scenario is maybe a ferial medical center or a teaching hospital or a really big and well-equipped private hospital because this person might also be needing intensive care in the ICU, right? That's the intensive care unit. So it's where you take them to when they have this thing is very, very important. Please, that's not the time to go and try traditional. Like, uh, okay, I don't want to talk about traditional issues. But when it comes to herbs and tradition, I have a video on that already. So I'll just link it up down in the description um, box so that you can go check it out if you want. But that is the time to take the person to a specialized hospital. Please, that could be the difference between that person being alive or not if you have any questions please drop them in the comment section please like and share please i'm begging you in the name of god just share this to one person because you might end up saving a life okay and actually it's going to also help our community to go thank you so much for watching as always stay healthy and i'll see you in the next video bye